Learn how to share your screen on Zoom to make your Zoom webinars, workshops, and courses more compelling and successful. Enjoy these easy tips. I'm Marcia Chadley from the Creative Life Center, and I have fun demystifying technology for you so that you feel comfortable sharing your work online. Screen sharing on Zoom opens the door, well, it opens the windows to great options for connecting with your audience and sharing information with them. I've started a Zoom meeting just for myself so that I can show you the screen share controls and what it looks like from the host perspective when you're sharing your screen. This is a great way for you to practice screen sharing too. Let's first look at the settings about screen sharing. If we go next to the screen share icon, that big green one, click the up arrow, we get the menu. As I talk about in my hosting video, I normally set up screen share only for the host, unless I'm in some kind of meeting where I know the participants and I know that we're all gonna need to be able to share the screen or at least more than just myself. Otherwise, it's safer and even easier for the participants if you're the only one who can share the screen. Sometimes people will see that big green icon at the bottom, they'll click on that, all of a sudden their screen is being shared, they don't know why and they don't know what to do about it. So limiting your hosting just to you, one person at a time and you only, which we can do right here in this advanced options dialog, means that you can avoid all that trouble. So this is usually how I set up my options for sharing. Now let's look and see what we can share. I'm gonna click the green icon, open up the screen share dialog. This shows you everything that you have open on your computer, which is basically what you can share. You can share screens. If you have more than one screen attached, they'll all be shown here. Right now I'm using one screen in this video, but later on I am gonna show you how to screen share with two screens because that is really handy when you're on a Zoom call, especially if you wanna share something like a PowerPoint. You can share PDFs. You could share just the browser window. You could share in your um, browser dialog. This is the navigation window could share a video. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. That's not super easy. Sometimes it doesn't work well. There's photos, you could share a PowerPoint, you can share apps that are open. All these things, and there's more. You can share a whiteboard, you can share your iPhone, your iPad, there's some advanced options and some files. We're gonna cover the basics today and then look for another one of my videos to go into the more advanced screen sharing options. Let's start, let's just start with a PDF. Well, let's start with the screen. Normally I don't square, share my screen, but I'm gonna try that today to show you what it would look like. So I hit the share button. Now I'm sharing my full screen. The reason I don't usually share it is because there's often things on there that I don't want people to see. And if you have notifications that pop up on your computer, those would be shared to everybody in the Zoom meeting also. What's being shared is outlined with a green border by Zoom. So I know my whole screen is being shared. At the top of the screen, you will see a control bar. Let me move that down so to make sure you can see all of it. Now, I'm the only one seeing that control bar and if it happens to get in the way of something I'm working with on my computer, I can move it around like I just did. These are all the regular Zoom controls. Under more, you'll find chat and some of the things that there aren't room for on this. This is also where you stop your share or change to a new share. This window over here can be moved. When I move it on my screen, it doesn't change anybody else's screen. They have their own version of this little window that they can move around without me seeing. There are multiple people on the call. There would be a gallery view option here and I could have people being shown down here below me. This is the speaker view option. I can also hide the thumbnails if I want to. Okay. So I can just move that right out of the way. For now, let's stop the share because I wanna go back in, make sure you see again, click on this link, open up the window. And now normally what I do is find something I'm gonna share, like say this PDF. Click on that, share the PDF. 
Let me move this out of the way so we are seeing that. Move it down here out of the way. Now what's being shared is again in this green outline. Anything I do in this window will be shared. I can scroll down through the PDF. I could change pages. And the participants would be seeing that PDF. Now, when I want to share something else, if I wanted to go right from the share into say a picture, go back to new share, pick my picture, and do share. Now again, remember this little control bar is only on my screen. It's not in anybody else's way. They're seeing what's in the green. Let's share a browser window. Now here I could be showing my Creative Life Center, um, neighborhood. I can scroll around in there. I could open up an article and show people. All that happens within the screen share. I could also do, we talked about doing um, a video. So let me show you that. If I'm going to do a video, I want to say share computer sound because otherwise people on the call would not hear the video because that's coming through my computer and optimize for video clip. Videos take a lot of computer bandwidth and internet bandwidth. You will need to have good internet to share a video during Zoom and the people, your participants will also need to have good bandwidth. Otherwise, video can get out of sync. Sometimes it gets really choppy. So this doesn't always work. There's just that caveat to that, but here's how you would do it. And then just start your and video as a playing. presenter and a teacher and as a participant. I'm Marcia Chadley from the Creative Life Center. And we stop share again. Let's look at one more thing I want to share with just a single screen. I want to show you how to share a PowerPoint with your single screen. So here's my PowerPoint. Open up share. Now at this point, people are looking at the whole PowerPoint application so they can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I can scroll through the slides and show them the slides, but they're also seeing all these other controls. So if you want them to see the PowerPoint as a slideshow, you'd have to open up this way, but then you could click your slideshow button, however you like to do your slideshow with PowerPoint, and Zoom would continue to share that. Okay. There's an even better way to share a PowerPoint if you have two monitors. Now I've hooked up an extra monitor to my laptop so that I can have the Zoom call on one monitor and my PowerPoint on another monitor. I've opened up the PowerPoint and put it in slideshow mode so I can share it directly from the slideshow and not have to show the application at all. Let's see what that looks like in the host controls. Here's my screen share. You can see screen one. Here's screen two. If I share that one, um, you can see the PowerPoint. That's all that's on there. But if I get a notification or something else pop up on there, that would be visible. So I normally will choose to show the PowerPoint slideshow. I'm going to select that and share. And now what I can see on my monitor on my laptop is what you're seeing in this video recording. I've got my control bar. I can stop my sharing. If I wanted to, I could have my, um, I could be seeing my pa video panel and seeing whoever's here, seeing myself talking. And on the other screen, what I'm sharing is the slideshow. I can scroll through that and the participants are seeing my slideshow. That's how I normally like to do screen shares, especially if it's a PowerPoint slideshow. How are you going to use Zoom screen share? It would be great to hear your questions and your ideas in the comments.